Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. In today's video, I'll be showing you an update on those uncharted paths that we started to dig out, plus a couple more that I found. Also, I'll be showing you the beginnings of a new project that the other volunteers and I had started on today. So, let's go check it out. So as you might remember in the last video, we had been working on these two paths right here. This straight one, which just goes out and stops at like just a straight edge at the end. And then this one here, which I believe we only got about this far with it in the last video. We continued digging only to find that this one also comes to an abrupt end, just not with a straight edge like the other side. It's just kind of staggered. Again, I can only assume that that just was because there was a bush or a statue or something here, or they just didn't finish it. Unfortunately, we'll never know that for sure unless I can find pictures of this area right here. Now also, I had showed in the last video the beginnings of this path here, which was just a couple of bricks sticking up in the beginning. We dug down. Still needs to be cleaned up, but we came across this big thick root right here, which kind of stopped us. But then I realized that moving forward, there's no more bricks past that little one right there. So it just kind of stops. And I had stuck the shovel in the ground all around here, and there are no more bricks. So this one just kind of ends as well, probably for the same reason. Now over here, you might remember in past videos, I had mentioned that the other volunteers had dug this path up as well as the one on the other side. And they had assumed that it stopped right about on the left side of the screen there. However, it does not. I found out I had to dig down, dig down a little deep as you can see, but it does go straight out to that path. And then it has a little offshoot over here, which is pretty wide, much like that one over there and the other side only goes from there and it goes straight across out to the path there's no offshoots I searched all around and there are none there are no bricks that go in between the two I know there used to be a tree right here but I don't think that the tree was here back when the Logans owned this land so that's pretty much all the paths that there are I have Searched just about everywhere around in here with the shovel Granted, I didn't dig up big patches of dirt. I just stuck the shovel down as far as it would go and once it got fully engulfed, I realized that there were no bricks, so I Just stopped doing that and I assume that this is all that there is Over here at the chessboard you could see that it's all been cleaned today the other volunteers had cleaned all the leaves away and I love that they do that because it makes it look so much better for everybody that comes to check it out. And we get so many compliments on this. And I am so happy that the grass took. I mean, I was worried about it for a little while, as I had mentioned before, but it seems to be doing okay. As for the new project that the other volunteers and I had started, which they've actually started this before I did, I just kind of joined in to help today um, over here on this side of the garden so there's the wall so you have a reference as to where this is on this side of the garden is where the Logan's mansion was it went from way up there spanned all the way down past where the fence is here it had like multi level sections of the mansion but the main entrance of the mansion, best we can tell anyway, was right about on the other side of, of here. So maybe about another, oh, I don't know, 15, 15, 20 feet or so, maybe a little more off this way, would have been the very back of the mansion. And it faced the, the way we're facing now. So it would have been facing towards out that way. But we started to clean this area up a little bit. It was very much infested with weeds of all different kinds. 
and you can see it's it's kind of clear now i mean there's a lot of leaves and stuff but there used to be a bunch of tall weeds growing out much like there is over on this side and a lot of it's been cleared out now and there's even an area up here where we started to clear the leaves and rake up the soil and much to our surprise the soil under here is really really rich it would seem anyway there are a lot of soft spots in the dirt as you walk through here so if you happen to come up here just be careful a couple of holes too probably probably groundhog holes but here's the area where we started to clear it out and we'll rake up the soil And you can see it's got a really dark color and it's really soft to walk on. So I'm assuming this is really good soil. Just weird to think that I would be standing in the mansion right now if it was still here. And you can see maybe it doesn't come through well on the camera there, but there's a like a dip down there in the dirt and then one over there can only assume that this had something to do with the foundation of the mansion and so there is the whole area where the mansion was once again and where I was just standing was right in there in about the middle of your screen Seems to be quite a few people stopping by the garden today. I love seeing that. I have been thinking about doing a virtual tour type video. This way when people come here, they can follow the video and I can give what bit of history I do know. Things like the fact that the mansion was here, about how long it was, um, there was a, you know, a carriage house over here, all kinds of stuff. So I would be curious to see in the comments if anybody thinks that that would be a good idea. So far, I posted it on my Tom's World Facebook page, and I got a handful of people that said that they think that that would be a really neat idea. And now I want to get your opinion. So make sure in the comments you leave a little comment letting me know whether or not you think a virtual tour would be a cool idea. And if enough people say that it is, then I'll make one. As I had mentioned, it seems that a lot of people are stopping by the garden today. Right now, I have it all to myself, so I guess I should try to do my wrap up now. Which means that's gonna do it for this video. So if you are new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. That way you'll be informed whenever I upload new videos. Also make sure that you click that thumbs up to give this video a like. And with that, I think I'm going to get out of here and I will see you all in the next one. Make sure that you all stay healthy, stay safe, and take care.